off and chuff all through the night Till I'm far away and free And when my steam runs out I'll know That no one will find me But things are not the same as before Mistakes I make no one can ignore I keep my pain to work looking fine I try so hard to be on time But I'm not a useful engine anymore I'm not a useful engine Experiment 21-1. Engine known as Thomas has been acquired. He was beaten up a bit after being derailed by Harold and Herbert, known as Ari and Bert to the locals, the Ironworks twins. Once he was brought to the Ironworks, we cleaned up Thomas and repainted him. He was very surprised and very grateful we did that to him. We told him that he was welcome and then told him that he could redeem himself by trying to be the best engine he could be, with some secret help from us. We told him that we are going to inject him with a chemical that will make him faster and stronger. He is very excited about that. However, Thomas does not know our true intentions. In reality, the chemical that we are going to inject him with will turn him into our weapon of destruction. Right now, he is in one of the sheds just before the main building. Experiment 21-2. We have now injected Thomas, who has complained about nausea, and a pain internally, but we told him that that was completely natural. Right now he is trying to get to sleep and we're going to do some further research. Experiment 21-3. Thomas woke up a few minutes ago and we put him through a strength test. This test was very successful since he managed to knock a flatbed over in one swift movement. We have also given Thomas anesthetics after he terminated the test. Experiment 21-4. The demon that we have injected in Thomas has now started to take over him since his eyes have now changed color. Tendrils have grown inside his face as well and can now come out of the mouth of the face. And spider-like legs have also grown on Thomas which can hold Thomas off the ground some feet. We're really making major progress now. Experiment 21-5. Face is now removable, exposing a much bigger mouth and teeth, which covers the whole smoke box. Tendrils can come out much more in that much bigger mouth. Uh, he's getting hungry. Martin's gone missing. Blood dripping from the engine's mouth pretty much answered our question. We lured the ironworks engines in and got them ready for the test. They were horrified. One of them tried to escape, but ended up crashing into a van that we put on the tracks on one of the sidings. He was then attacked by Thomas, 
and as a result, oil dripped everywhere, which started a fire. As soon as the second one arrived, Thomas attacked him, killing him instantly. The test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. Experiment 21-7. Diesel 10 was prepped for combat test and then brought in. This will be our final test before the mission is declared operational. Diesel 10 was brought in and combat commenced. Diesel 10 held up a decent fight against Thomas, calling him multiple names, such as creature, beast and monster. He even managed to knock Thomas off the tracks at one point in the fight. However, Thomas eventually gained the upper hand by ripping off the hydraulic claw on the roof. Diesel 10, powerless, begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. However, Thomas did not show any mercy whatsoever, as he picked up Diesel 10's claw and jammed it into the middle of Diesel 10's face. We've decided to nickname Thomas the Beast.